Hi, this is Jason with ICS. I'm here to show you how to do a conference on the Mitel MyClab client. First thing you'll want to do is find the person that you want to create a conference with. I would like to conference with an internal party named Scott Arnold. I can tell here he's available for a video, a chat, or a phone call. I'm simply going to right click this and say start conference. I want to do an audio, a little shy, I'm going to skip video, and then I'm going to do web. I'm going to click start. Welcome to the conference center. Enter so what has happened is my phone went off hook, it dialed into the conference bridge, and it joined me to the conference. conference. Please stay on the line. You can tell when I'm talking because my icon here shows that I'm talking. Now Scott has joined our conference call, and you can tell he's here available for Hello. chat. Hello Scott. He's here for you? voice and uh, he can share the conference call. So I'm gonna go ahead and mute Scott just because I want to. Goodbye, Scott. <laughs> uh, and from there, I've got a, I can share my desktop. I can start and stop video. I can control my audio. I can store documents. I'll remove Scott from the meeting so he can go back to work. So I'm simply gonna click there. It'll boot Scott from the meeting. So if you had 15 people in there, and you had a lot of background noise, you could tell by the little icon who that noise was and that they were speaking, and you could simply right click the person, then you could remove them from the meeting. From here, if I wanna share my desktop, I simply click share, and I could share a desktop application like Excel or Word, and it'll only show that application. I can share my entire screen, or I can share a region of my screen. So in a region, if I click that, I can simply just share certain parts of my screen. Or if I wanted to share my full screen, at that point it, show, it shows my entire screen. Up here I have toolbars. I can preview and show what everybody else is seeing. I can click record. What record does, I have mine set up to do a test record onto my desktop. This call is being recorded. So now it prompts everybody and lets them know that the call is being recorded. In here, if I wanted to write on this screen, I have a pen. I can change the color of the pen. I can delete what I've done. And I can also save the notes that I've created. Along with the pen, you also have a text box. You can create notes. If you had clicked the record, so we've been recording this whole time. So while we record all this, the recording it, has been stopped. It's recording our entire desktop share along with our audio call. You can leave little numeric notes telling people steps which are also always helpful you can draw a box you can draw a circle and you also have your eraser for anything that may get annoying or may need to be edited along with your full clear of the, of the screen i'm going to stop sharing now if you want to invite somebody else to the meeting you can click the plus sign here. What the plus sign does is it'll open your email. It'll put all the conference information in the bottom of the email. You simply type in who you want to attend the, the conference call, hit send, and it'll send them the invite. From there, they can either click on this link to join the conference call. They can call this number and use this pin to attend the conference call, whichever one works best for them. You can also copy the participant access information like this, open your email client, and simply paste the information in for a cleaner look if that's what you prefer. And then you have a public chat where you can go in and chat and everybody can see it. Uh, over here, if Scott was here, he also had a private chat. You could click it and do that, do a private chat with him. 
You can mute all participants. So if you have a lot of background, you can do that. You can also hold all participants, which will put all callers on hold. So that's a quick way of doing an internal conference call with somebody. Now, sometimes you would like to create an external conference call with somebody outside your company. With that, just simply click your name, click collaboration, and you can say schedule a conference. That will immediately log you into your portal. You can set up a one-time conference, a recurring conference, or a reservationist conference. A reservationist conference is a conference number and PIN that will always be there and always be open for you up to 19 years. A reoccurring conference uh, is a conference that happens same time every day, week, or month. And then a one-time conference is a unique PIN that will only be used that one time. In this instance, I'm going to do a one-time conference, so I click here. I'm going to say it's a demo conference. I'm going to allow people to use audio and web during this conference call. Monday, and I want it for 4.30 p.m. It's going to be one hour long. Since there's reporting on this, I'm going to put a department of sales. Uh, you have your options here, which you can select. You know, I join, always delete my conference password because I don't use it. And then I say, okay. From here, you simply click your calendar button. It will open up a calendar invite for you. And from there, you simply add the people you would like to add to your conference call. And hit send update and they'll receive the link with the conference call. Anybody in the world can simply click on that link, join the conference call. They'll be able to see your desktop, be in a conference call with you up to however many parties you have available. And if you'd like, you can record that and have it pushed out to our server to be published later. You have settings that you go and reset your password, look at your phone numbers, modify your invitations. You can delegate rights to other people. Uh, and you also have a Microsoft plugin. So if you click this, it's gonna ask you to download your Microsoft plugin and install it. If you install that plugin and you're in Outlook, you can go to calendars. You simply click on the day that you wanna do the conference call, click on the time, go to appointment, my collab settings you can invite people here if you would like and when you send this email it will populate that email with information about the conference bridge get my calendar for the 13th and notice I had this conference bridge scheduled and in here it included the link for that one-time conference call, the phone number, and the PIN that I could call in to join. In reports, so here are all my conference calls. Here's the extensions and phone numbers and IP addresses of the people that attended the conference call. If it's a web conference, here's the name of everybody that jumped into the conference call. So it gives you a detail of who was there, when, and if somebody missed an important conference call. That will conclude our training on how to set up a conference call through the Mitel MyCollab client. Thank you.